Today was a day of reflection as the nation took time out to recognize Veterans Day and this morning the Westmark Hotel was the scene of a powerful ceremony. That's right, Mike Schultz was there and he has this report. September 11, 1918 was declared as the war to end all wars. One year later it was deemed as Armistice Day. Eventually in 1954 it became Veterans Day and since then we've recognized all veterans of past wars on November 11th. Today at the Westmark Hotel before an overflow crowd the scene was of celebration and of memories for veterans present and past. You know, we have a lot, a lot of members that are here in this Fairbanks community that have been in the military. And what they've done is, a lot of people don't understand, is that a lot of them have sacrificed quite a bit by putting on a uniform and serving our nation one, one way or the other. It's a tribute to all the veterans who served our country. Uh, it's, it's an honor to be a part of it. We've uh, had uh, this ceremony every year and the community comes out in force to pay a tribute to, to all the veterans. We have World War II veterans all the way through the current conflict and each of those deserves the respect and honors that we can give them. Uh, veterans Day not only honors uh, those that have served our country and, and fallen, but also those that are still here, that continue to serve our country both in uniform and out of uniform, what they do for our communities, and also their families, and what they do to support their soldiers, airmen, sailors, and Marines. In addition to proclamations from senators, the governor, and three local mayors, a second grade class from Weller stole the show. It was a good day to recognize our veterans and our military at the Westmark.